First of all, Mr. Chairman, <coughs> permit me to associate myself with the sentiments of congratulations that distinguished ambassadors have expressed to you and the well wishes and hopes that you will steer the affairs of this Committee of Ambassadors and the ACP successfully in the next six months. On behalf of the Secretariat, I would also like to congratulate you. We know you. We are familiar with your antecedents, which are entirely <coughs> honorable and inspiring, and we have confidence that you will discharge your mandate very effectively and to the glory of our organization. I'd like to pledge on behalf of the Secretariat that we would work with you and we would service you and the other organs of our organization for your stewardship to be successful. I'd also like to express appreciation for the positive statements that have been made concerning the umbrella. <laughs> the umbrella is part of a presentation of projects supported by the ACP Cultures Plus program being piloted by the Department of Political Affairs and uh, you, several delegations have underlined and, has, and underscored the symbolism of the umbrella, highlighting the issues of security and of protection. I'm happy to say that in, Af in West Africa today, the ruling governments or the ruling parties in the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Republic of uh, Ghana, they have this, the, the umbrella as their party symbol. Now, having said that, let me again, Mr. Chairman, express thanks and gratitude on my own behalf and on behalf of my colleagues who are departing uh, with me. Sincere thanks and gratitude. Total, unadulterated to you distinguished ambassadors for, first of all, the opportunity to serve. The very good understanding that have pervaded our relations, your outstanding cooperation, the collaborative engagement, your team spirit, your patience and forbearance, and then the guidance that you have provided, and certainly the matured and constructive criticisms which helped us to correct and trod the straight and the narrow. We're grateful to you. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues who are departing with me. Mr. Paolo Kautoki, the outgoing Assistant Secretary General in charge of macroeconomic development and finance, uh, and finance development finance and intra-ACP programming. Mr. Ashil Basilikan, I don't know, Mr. Kotoke, if you could just rise as I call your name. <laughs> I'm sorry. With due respect. Mr. Ashil Basilikan, Assistant Secretary General in charge of sustainable development and trade, who unfortunately is not with us today, as uh, was indicated. He's been taken ill and was not 
was not able to come. Madame Raymond Dominique, <laughs> the Assistant Secretary General in charge of the Department of Political Affairs and Human Development. Madame Ivy Chaza, the Assistant Secretary General, Administration, Finance, and Human Resources. Dr. Obadiah Melafia, Chef du Cabinet. <laughs> Madame Josephine Latu Saft, Press <laughs> Attaché. And finally, and I will not be surprised if she's not here, Madame Bernadette Mbozo, Personal Assistant to Secretary General. <laughs> With your permission, I'd like to pay tribute to these ladies and gentlemen. They have been a source of strength. They have been an inspiration. They have been of tremendous assistance to me in leading the Secretariat. We worked together as a team, and I believe we accomplished much due to the team spirit that prevailed. I, I refer to the first four especially, Mr. Kaltoki, Mr. Basilica, Madame Raymond, Madame Ivy Chaza, because during the period, they have been an embodiment of integrity, efficiency, and professionalism. They showed selfless and dedicated attention to their work. And I'd like, where's the plot? Oh, you put it back. I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, distinguished ambassadors, while I thank you very much for this plaque, permit me to dedicate it to my colleagues. They did the work. You know, it was Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi, one of his favorite sayings, he said, in this world, there are two types of people. Those that do the work and those that take the credit. And that he would encourage his followers to always seek to belong to the first group because there, there is no competition whatsoever. I have had the fortune of working with people who did the work but they are not even competing with me to take the credit. They've allowed me to take the credit. And I want to thank them. <laughs> Excellency, Mr. Chair, very distinguished ambassadors. In the course of our work in the last five years, and for me in the last two years, no doubt, there have been a lot of high points and low points as well. Critical successes have been chalked at the very core of the mandate of the ACP group. For me, the climax certainly was the 100th session of the ACP Ministerial Council, which was very successfully held and the Secretariat serviced it at the maximum of their ability. And that 100th session culminated in the election and appointment of His Excellency Dr. Patrick Gomes as Secretary General and my successor. I have always expressed the view that Dr. Gomes is eminently qualified for the position and that the ACP is lucky at this point in time to have him at the head of his affairs. He is indeed 
a strategic choice as Secretary General, having regard to his telling record of excellence and the great work he did as chair of the Working Group on Future Perspectives. He therefore comes to the job with an excellent track record, but also with the unique attribute of knowing where this organization is at the moment, where it should go or ought to go, and also the trajectory, and also having the passion and the dedication to navigate the organization to its desideratum, the desired destination. Having talked about achievements, let me admit with all humility that there have been imperfections. After all, the Secretary is a human institution, and my colleagues and I, we are just common beings who also suffer human frailties, and therefore we cannot claim to be 100% for the faults that have occurred, for the wrongs that we have committed. I'd like to ask you to find a place in your heart to forgive us. Please forgive us, because infallibility is an attribute of God and we are not God. For me personally, I have a reason to ask for forgiveness. As I expressed, I have had, I have, I'm totally uninitiated in the business of diplomacy. And therefore, I try to express myself the way I know best. And in the heat of passion of the movement, I don't seem to remember or even know or understand the subtleties, the standards, and the finesse of diplomatic discourse, which is something that you are more adept with, <coughs> that you are more familiar with. I apologize if I said something that offended or appeared to offend. It was not a deliberate thing. I was just trying to express an inner feeling in the way that I know best as a politician, as a lawyer. And I'm sorry. Mr. Chairman, very distinguished ambassadors, as I depart, and I'm sure the same belongs to my colleagues as well. I'm convinced that given our mutual and common interests in global development and multilateral diplomacy, our paths are bound to cross in the future. And I certainly cherish the relationships that I have been able to build, the friendship that I have been able to build, and I do hope to be able to network on these uh, for the future. I thank you most sincerely, and God bless you. <coughs>